Hello all welcome back, you are watching Indian Gamer YouTube channel. So today in this video I am going to show you how to randomize any Pokemon 3DS game on your PC. So without wasting your time let's start the video. First you have to download Hacking Toolkit 3DS from this website. I'll link down it in description. You have to download the version 9 of this application. If you download any other version so you cannot randomize any game. So now follow my steps. Now you have to download PK3DS from this website. I'll link down it in description. Downloading this application is somewhat tricky but I'll show each and every step for randomizing. So be sure that you won't skip any part of the video. Now you have to click on the first option with the green tick on right side of it. It'll take some time to open if your network connection is just like mine. Too slow. Now click on 2 published written here. Again I am saying that it'll take time if your network connection is like mine. Just ignore it. Now thanks god. Finally the loading is done. Now you can see these three dots here. You just have to click on download artifacts. Now after the downloadation is completed, if they are somewhere on your main C drive so I recommend that you should cut it from there and paste it in another drive because it will take minimum 2 or 3 gigabytes and maximum 6 or 7 gigabytes. And that's enough to fill your main C drive. See I am also doing this. Now just extract both files by clicking on extract here. It'll need an app called WinRAR. If you don't have that so I am giving it link in description. Just download it from there. I lost my best friend to 23. She left her body and hovered above me. I saw no shadow. I looked the next thing you have to do is to copy the game you want to randomize. I saw no shadow, but felt a glow. The warmth inside me kept me afloat. And then paste it on the hacking toolkit 3DS folder. Now give it a short name as we have write it in the process of randomizing. I can give it the name Sun. Now open this application named Setup US. It will make your PC ready for randomizing any 3DS game. Now just click on install. Then click on next, then finish. Now you are all set to open the hacking tool. Open it. If the game file was a 3DS file then press D and if it was a CIA file then just press CE. Mine was a 3DS file so I am pressing D on my keyboard. Now here you have to write the new name of the game which you gave. I gave it the name Sun. Now press N and hit enter. 
Now it is done, you just have to wait for a few minutes. Now you can see there were as many or more files after extraction. Now just close this hacking tool. Now mention it that these two folders named extracted ROMFS and extracted DXCFS are important. If they are not in your folder so you have to do all the steps again. Now copy all the folders from here and paste them anywhere on your PC. Now open PK3DS application. Don't worry if something like is happened. Just go through it. Now just drag the folder which you just copied. So this will open your game on PK3DS. Now you are good to go. You can randomize any game. You can see a randomized button in all of the tabs. You can also change game text, story text and personal stats, but I know none of you will do this. You can also change the evolution of any Pokemon. You can also change moves of the Pokemon in the game and you can also try rest of the things. Now here comes the thing that I know 98% of you people will surely do. And that is randomizing wild encounters. Oh sorry, I forgot to tell you something. That's when you will select wild encounters, it'll not respond for 6 to 10 seconds. So please be patient after selecting wild encounters. We all want some great Pokemon just from the start but we also know that no Pokemon game ever will do this. 
so randomizing wild encounters make your team very strong right from the start. So enough that about wild encounters, let's move to next thing. Now that's it. Nope it is not done yet. Remember that this application needs to be running in background. For this, just minimize it. Now go to the new folder you created, and here open extracted DXEFS. Now here you will find a file named .codebin. I'll tell that Citra emulator cannot run these type of files. I myself tried it and was unsuccessful. So to fix this just remove the dot at the beginning and that's it. Now again open the hacking tool. If your file is a 3DS file so just follow me. Press R on your keyboard and hit enter. Now give your own created game a handsome name. I know mine is too old fashioned but it's my choice. Now hit enter and wait for 60 or 70 seconds. Here you can see it's finally done. Here you can see your own created game is ready. Now there is only the last thing left, and that's the gameplay of the game I created. Just open Citra Emulator and load your game.
Here you can see this Pokemon isn't available in Sun or Moon before completing your second Grand Trail. So that's it this is much more better than the original game. Now if it helps so please like the video, comment on how you feel to play your own created 3DS game and subscribe for more tutorials. Keep calm and just play games. Stay home stay safe.